In this video, we are going to discuss the famous summation given by Ramanujan that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus up to infinity is equal to minus 1 by 12. So for this summation, we have to consider Guido Grandi series. We have to consider Guido Grandi's series. So Guido Grandi series is 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on. And Grandi said to his students to find the value of this summation. So some of them answered infinity. Some of his students answered that the summation is undefined. And some answered 0, some answered 1 and the sum answered 1 by 2 and the reason behind infinity is if we add on positive terms 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on then we get infinity now if we subtract first negative term 1 then we get infinity and now if we subtract second negative term then again we get infinity and in this way we always get infinity and now the reason behind undefined is if we add on positive terms then we get 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on and now if we add on negative terms then we get minus of 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on and now we get infinity minus infinity that is undefined and the reason behind the 0 is if we consider even number of terms, then it will be 0. If we consider even terms, then the answer will be 0. And the reason behind 1 is if we consider odd number of terms, odd number of terms, then it will be 1. And some students also say that the answer is 1 by 2. And Ramanujan also said that answer is 1 by 2. And Grandi also knew that the answer is 1 by 2. So here we have summation 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on. We have 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on. And I am taking this as A. And now if we subtract A from 1, then we get 1 minus A is equal to 1 minus a is 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on and now this one and minus 1 will get cancelled and we get 1 minus a is equal to this minus when change the sign of all numbers so we get 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on and now this is also a so we get 1 minus a is equal to a or we get 2a is equal to 1 or a is equal to 1 by 2. So here we get a is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and so on that is equal to 1 by 2 and now the second series of Grandi is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 and so on. I am taking this as B and now if we subtract these two series, so the sign will be opposite here minus minus plus minus plus and minus and now we get A minus B is equal to 1 minus 1 will be 0 and minus 1 plus 2 will be 1 and 1 minus 3 will be minus 2 and minus 1 plus 4 will be plus 3 and 1 minus 5 will be minus 4 and so on. So here this is also b 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 and so on. So here we get a minus b is equal to b or we get 2b is equal to a or b is equal to a by 2 and a is equal to 1 by 2. So 
here we get b is equal to 1 by 2 times a is 1 by 2 so we get b is equal to 1 by 4 or b is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7 minus 8 and so on that is equal to 1 by 4 and now we have to find the value of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 and plus 8 and so on I am taking this as C and now if we subtract C from B then again sign will be opposite minus 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 and minus and we get b minus c is equal to 1 minus 1 will be 0 and minus 2 minus 2 will be minus 4 and again 3 minus 3 will be 0 and minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 and plus 0 minus 2 and plus 0 minus 16 and so on or we get b minus c is equal to minus 4 minus 8 minus 12 minus 16 and so on and now we get b minus c is equal to if we take minus 4 common then we get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on and here this is c 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on so we get b minus c is equal to minus 4 times c or we get b is equal to minus 4c plus c will be minus 3c or c is equal to minus 1 by 3 times b and here we have b is equal to 1 by 4 so we get c is equal to minus 1 by 3 and b is 1 by 4 so we get c is equal to minus 1 by 2 and and c is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on that is minus 1 by 2 and this is Ramanujan summation and now if you wonder how the sum of positive numbers can be negative so there is also a practical proof we use this summation in Casimir effect we also use this in string theory and we can also use this summation in black holes. So in Casimir effect, in Casimir effect, we have two uncharged planets in vacuum. And now if we try to calculate the force between these two uncharged planets, then the force contain this summation. And if we take 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up to infinity as infinity, then the value of force will come infinity. And in physics, infinite force is not defined. So if we consider this summation as minus 1 by 12 instead of infinity, then we get force that is equal to experimental value. So it is your choice that you believe in Ramanujan summation or not, but we use this summation at many places in physics and chemistry.